Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a potential Taylor Award Show night. So I guess I cannot say potential because she's nominated for a ton of iHeart Awards. How about I say potential Taylor sighting going to an award show tonight? Um, so I'm not so sure if she's going to go to the iHeart Awards tonight. However, we're going to vlog just in case. Um, and it's always so much fun regardless to see um, what she wins and if she goes. And I feel like she will go, but you never know with her. Um, and first of all, it is Tortured Poets Month. It is April 1st. That's not an April Fool's joke. We are getting TS11 so very soon, and I'm so excited. So, before I go home, I decided to come to Walgreens because today is the day after Easter, and I decided, what if I go see what Easter candy they have on sale? And there was a stuffed animal. Yes, I am five years old. Um, it was a little duck. I Actually, I think it was a platypus with like a little raincoat on. And it was adorable and I was like, you know, I was thinking about it earlier. I'm like, if they had that on sale, I'd buy it. So we're gonna go in there, see what they have and just let's get this vlog started. You guys, it doesn't look like they have any of the stuffed animals on sale yet, where I could be wrong. I have been wrong before and I don't see the one I was looking for. Well, there are some really cute ones like you can tell the Squishmallow craze is dying down because let me tell you, those would have been gone and not even had a chance to be on the shelf for one second, like a couple years ago. In the back, just like that, did not spend a penny in there. That's probably a good thing. It's probably for the best. Um, however, they didn't have any of like the, the Easter candy marked down. They didn't have any of the stuffed animals marked down. I'm not sure if they just hadn't yet. Um, but anyways, I was not, I'm proud of myself, did an impulse buy. So now we're going to go home, eat some Easter leftovers, you know, just continue on with this vlog, see if Miss Swift makes an appearance later. It is time to heat up my Easter leftovers. I love me some leftovers. So, um, yeah, it is time to absolutely grub. I'm in a bit of a, um, battle with myself at the moment. And that battle is, I have been going to the gym every other day, like very consistently. Um, it just makes me feel good. Like I just, I feel so good. Like after I work out and all that. And uh, anyways, I'm like, it's 5:46. I've had a couple other things like to take care of um, this evening, and I'm like, do I go to the gym and run for like? like 15 minutes do I do I go there is it worth it to like go for a little bit and then come back and uh, like shower I'm like or should I just like skip tonight because iHeart comes on at 8 the red carpet is on now now if Taylor shows up she's not she's not showing up this early I can tell you that that's just not the way Taylor Swift rolls like she will be the very last one on the carpet um if she even walks the carpet she might honestly not even like walk the carpet she might kind of just show up um but anyways so i'm sitting here like should i go and then i had an even better idea <laughs> i was sitting on the couch watching a couple um youtube videos just kind of like chilling out and i'm like oh my god i remembered today today is the day that uh oh right that um Dairy Queen drops their new flavors or like their uh, their summer flavors if you will um, and so I was like huh maybe I should just like you know eat my dinner let it settle get comfy and then uh, then go get a nice little treat for the iHeart Awards which is kind of like what I'm leaning towards now. If we're being honest here, I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's okay, it's okay to skip every once in a while, but like, I don't know. It's just because I've been so, so, so consistent that I'm like, do I really want to break my routine? But it is okay to break routine sometime, especially when it has to do with Taylor Swift. All right. I'm getting ready for the gym. 
you know what? Can't stop, won't stop. I don't want to break my routine and I feel very motivated. I was sitting on the couch. I ate my dinner. <laughs> I sat on the couch and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I got the Taylor Swift Zoomies. This is a good thing because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go run because <laughs> um, Taylor Swift, we could see her tonight. We could get a red carpet look tonight. And she just like something about Taylor. One thing about Taylor is she just motivates me and like I just get so excited like I get I very much get like the Taylor Swift like zoomies I don't know if anybody else feel this, feels this way but I just like get like oh my god oh my god and I feel like I could run a marathon so like thank you to her um I took off my skin makeup putting deodorant on um I've decided like even if I go to the gym um for like 15 20 minutes it's better than nothing and uh, I, I'm in my uh, snake print shirt because this is a motivation at the gym. I love listening to Reputation. And then one of the most hated on merch items, however, you could never make me hate her, um, the biker shorts. They're the Taylor biker shorts that came out during the folklore era. So anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go work out a little bit and then I will be back jump in the shower, which is the most rewarding part. And then I'm going to get ice cream and we're gonna cross our fingers that Taylor shows up. I'm back from the gym. Mm -hmm. I did two miles on the elliptical in 15 minutes. I'm not mad about that. Did I push myself? Yes, but then I kept looking at my clock and I'm like, okay, Rachel, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know what I listen to the most at the gym? The Eras Tour pre-show playlist. It gets me going. Also, Cool for the Summer by Demi Lovato. And of course, Taylor, but like. <sighs> in the Reputation shirt, we do trust. Okay, it's time for a shower. Taylor still hasn't shown up. I was checking the whole time I was there, but she's not there yet. So we have some time. That shower felt immaculate. It is now time to go get some ice cream. I think I'm gonna get the Cotton Candy Blizzard ice cream. I don't know, that sounds so good to me. I'm feeling a blizzard. Um, anyways, yes, I do spray on perfume after the shower sometimes. I don't know, it's kind of like a habit and I'm, you know, it's like refreshing. Can I show you guys my socks? Because <laughs> I think they're really cute. They're little fuzzy socks, but they have little chicks hatching out of an Easter egg. You know, because one time Taylor Swift commented a uh, Easter egg or a chick hatching out of an Easter egg emoji and I've made it my personality this time of year. So <laughs> let's go get ice cream. All right, you guys, I'm in the drive-thru now. I am very indecisive because they have a Nutter Butter shake and then they also have like the cotton candy shake or um, blizzard. They have a peach cobbler blizzard, which sounds so good. Um, also shout out to my mom for the gift card coming in clutch right now um I don't know what to get I was very confident on my cotton candy until I saw that nutter butter shake uh-huh I don't know what to get whatever comes out of my mouth sometimes that's how I am at Dunkin too it's like whatever whatever comes out you know we shall see can I please have a medium um cotton candy blizzard please I personally made a good decision by getting the uh the cotton candy blizzard it slays it's one of my favorites i love when they bring it back so i'm just chilling it's like 7 30 ish now and so uh i'm just gonna kick back and relax and wait for the iheart awards i it's not looking like she's going but you know what's okay we'll still cheer her on watching the iheart awards did not last very long for me uh -uh. i <laughs> you know i'm disinterested in something because i like always lay um, like facing the TV when I'm watching something of course you know I was like done with it when I fully grabbed my phone started scrolling on TikTok, checking on my like daily oh like what did Maddie Kearns find today for her dachshund hunt oh like you know um there's this girl who got a double lung transplant I believe her name's like Marina Mariana I don't want to mispronounce her name but she is so sweet and um she goes to Duncan every single day and she just like um she can't go out in public so 
until June 1st, which I'm so excited to see when she's like able to go in public um, on her one year. But she's just so entertaining, like just to like hear her talk and like her voice is so calm. So I love checking in on her every single day, see what she got at Duncan. Um, and then, like I said, I check on Maddie Kearns. And um, so I was just scrolling on TikTok and I was like, I'm bored. Like, I am bored of the show. Like, I fully had my back turned. The only time I perked up was when Ice Spice um, got her award. And can I just say I love SZA too. Like, she's always so humble. Like, and so sweet and, like, appreciative. Which is, like, what I gravitate towards in Taylor. But I don't know. The award show is just, like, kind of blah. So, I think I'm going to gravitate over to my... Uh, my dining room table and I think I'm gonna make some friendship bracelets. I have the hiccups because like, why not? It's tapril. Somebody commented that and I thought it was really cute, but I don't know. I feel like this vlog is boring all of a sudden, but like, oh well. Taylor didn't go, but you know what? We're still cheering her on. <laughs> We're still doing Swifty things. We got some letters we got some spacers we got more spacers we've got organization we've got gold letters we've got miscellaneous beads i just think i'm gonna make a couple because it is like nine um i don't know what i'm gonna watch i think i'm gonna watch some good luck charlie that sounds good I don't know what bracelets to make. Like, I think I'm gonna make a Clarabo one. I have not made a Clarabo bracelet yet. I think that's the first one I'm gonna make. Cause something just tells me, something in my The Lucky One Stan heart is just telling me that Clarabo is gonna be one of my favorites on Tortured Poets. I could be wrong. I could be right. Who knows? Oh, the alchemy would be a really pretty bracelet too. Okay. Now I know. I'm getting some ideas here. Guys. <laughs> oh, it's laughable. It's so laughable. So I turned off the iHeart Awards. Taylor wins Best Tour. Taylor wins um, Artist of the Year. And um, there was another one that I'm blanking on because honestly, like, I looked down at my phone and Emma texted me. Um, oh my god, Taylor looks so tan and gorgeous. And I was like, okay. I literally texted her. I said, you're not getting me. Because it's April Fool's Day. And look, I got my I got my guard up. She's not getting me. Nobody's getting me on April Fool's Day, okay? So, when I saw that, I was like, hmm. And then I did, in fact, she backed it up with a, with a link. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. False alarm, you're not kidding me. And oh my God, she looks so beautiful. She said, we have so many um, exciting things coming up. I'm continuing on with tour. And most importantly, I have a brand new album coming out April 19th. Like I'm screaming, guys, it's so soon. I almost lost my string. I've decided to start with the alchemy bracelet because the alchemy is turning things into gold. And I have some pretty gold beads here, so. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use them. The more I think about it, oop, the more I think that um, the alchemy is going to be one of my favorites on the Tortured Poets department. And I keep saying this, like, oh, I think this one's gonna be my favorite. No, but this one. But just like based on that, like the alchemy being turning things into gold, um, just sounds like it could be potentially very meaningful to me because there's a lyric um, that is my all-time favorite Taylor lyric in the whole wide world um, from Dancing With Our Hands Tied that says, Deep blue, but you painted me golden. Now, that lyric to me is absolutely just so meaningful. You can feel down about yourself or the world can have you down on yourself, but then you look around and you are, if you surround yourself with the people who make you feel special and make you feel golden and make you feel 
you know, polished and pretty and um, worth it, that's what is so important. Like, maybe things aren't going right for you. Look at, look at this. That's really pretty. Um, maybe things aren't going your way or, you know, there's so many different ways that you can apply that lyric, but I've always found so much like comfort in that lyric. Like you can, or even like apply it to life. Like it doesn't have to be like about surrounding yourself with people. Like it could just be about like, um, you know, maybe I'm not feeling the best in life right now or I'm in a rough spot in life right now, but there's things in my life that make me feel golden. When I turn on Taylor's music, I feel golden. When I go for my afternoon walks, when it's 70 degrees out, and even though the, the pollen is killing me right now, you know, it's good for me and it fuels me. And yeah, there's just like, or maybe when I eat my favorite candy or when I cook my favorite meal or when I watch my comfort show, like those things make me feel golden. Or calling my best friend to show her a new outfit or should I keep this or get rid of it? You know, those things can make you feel golden. It doesn't have to be, um, you know something big it can just be the simple things in life and I don't know Taylor's lyrics are so complex and Taylor's lyrics are so like beautiful to me and I always find so much beautty in her lyrics oh I almost lost that string I really almost lost that string but um I just feel like that concept like I always get oh my gosh I'm literally dropping stuff all over the place um, I always just get so intrigued by like the concepts of her her song names and like oh my god like what is she gonna write this about you know and it could be I was trying to make myself you know turn myself back into gold again or it could be um, I was trying to turn something you know a situation back into gold again or you know it could be a play on words we never know but the beautiful thing is Taylor always um, keeps us on our toes. Taylor keeps it exciting. And the thing about her is she will be using big words in the dictionary. And you know what? I appreciate it because she's given me <laughs> a very expansive vocabulary. But it's just what I'm trying to say is like her, her art and her, the way she just creates and has these complex storylines is just so beautiful and how they can just be, you know, double meanings to different people and how you can apply, you know, different lyrics to your situation. I don't know, I I freaking love that woman and um, I just get so excited and I, I feel like I'm trying to like also occupy myself extra. Um, did I just spell the alchemy wrong with the alchemy? I think I did. It, look, I've never like written it out. Okay, let, let's see something. What's insane is I can actually go to my Apple Music now. A L C H. I spelled it right. <laughs> oh man, but I just get so much serotonin from like thinking about a new Taylor release because. I've been like this has been something that's excited me and been so consistent for me since I was in elementary school like it's just so crazy that like now I get to experience it with my best friend that Taylor led me to you know and I get to celebrate it with those people and um, you know continue on with the, uh, the target tradition and just like hearing the first note of a Taylor, new Taylor album is like the most insane thing. Like, it's just like this new chapter in your life. Like, it's just always so freaking special to hear what she's worked up and like to add a new era and like experience the era and create new memories in that era. Like, guys, like I just, I treasure my memories with Taylor so freaking much like it's insane when I really think about it why do I always get emotional when I'm making um friendship bracelets <laughs> but it's just like I just when I think about it it's just like brings me to this place of like such gratefulness and it brings me to like such a place of wow Rachel like you're literally 
you're fulfilling what you didn't have in elementary school and middle school and some of high school where you didn't have those friendships and that sense of community. However, the sense of community that I always had in like middle school and um, in high school was being a Swifty. Like I always had that outlet, but I mean like in person, like I always had those connections when I went to concerts or I'd go online and see what people were saying and like I felt like that that sense of community but like to experience it with somebody in person like and to have somebody you can call at any time like if I called Emma right now I bet you she'd answer but it's just like it's insane just to like have those bonds that Taylor's led me to and that sense of community that like I've always craved like in elementary school I, like that's what I craved and like now I have that and oh my god um anyways this bracelet's really pretty she might be too big but we're gonna see right now um but yeah you guys I just feel so lucky to really just if I could just say I just like am so lucky to be alive at the same time as Taylor Swift like simply that is what I have to say like and I truly just mean that with my whole heart and soul like it's just so much fun being a Swifty like I don't care the thing is I've <laughs> I've been joked for being a Taylor fan for like my whole life like either playful or like oh my god you're the taylor swift girl like oh my god like she likes taylor swift but like you know she's like a swifty like she's a super fan or when taylor wasn't popular and i'd get yelled at and cornered in the locker room like i didn't care like i never stopped being me and um that's just because i know what taylor's done for me i know what her music's done for me and like you're silly to think that I'd ever stop so um but yeah even like things like this I am 24 years old and I'm just sitting here making bracelets and I couldn't be happier it is 9 23 and man am I happy right now like I'm just in my glory like just thinking about like the new era and like what's to come and she's right exciting things are happening but um Oh my god I just like I just appreciate you guys like letting me talk to you document but, like look we made a bracelet it says the alchemy oh it's upside down it's probably still upside down <laughs> but it's cute it's really really cute um, those beads I got from Hobby Lobby but yeah I'm gonna continue making bracelets see if Taylor has anything else to say <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna watch good luck Charlie and my cat staring at me I have 22 minutes and 13 seconds left on this SD card that's insane but I made one that said the alchemy that I showed you guys um, and then I made one that says Clara bow in just like a pinky color I think it's so pretty Clara bow I can't wait to make more like I said I feel like I'm gonna be doing this a lot like I pull out my bracelet making stuff pretty often because Emma and I will FaceTime and we'll just like make bracelets but I'm trying to distract myself as much as possible but Taylor has won six I heart awards so I'll read them off to you artist of the year pop artist of the year tour of the year best lyrics for is it over now TikTok bop of the year for cool summer and favorite tour style I will forever love watching Taylor shine like it's just always so incredibly special and so fulfilling and uh, I love her so much she's just always topping herself she's always innovating and I just I love that woman so much but I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for just like letting me vlog and I asked you guys on my community page and so many of you were like yes vlog like we didn't know if Taylor was going or not she didn't but you know what we still had a good time and it was kind of like a nice you know vlog into tape roll and the tortured poets department is this month like this fucking month this month 
this month we are getting a new Taylor Swift album. That's insane. That is actually insane. That will literally leave me speechless. Um, like, we were like, oh, next month we get one. Two months from now, like, five weeks from now. And now we are T-minus. On Friday, it will be two weeks. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am planning so many fun videos. And so just buckle up. And when Emma's here for Church of Poets, you guys know we'll be vlogging release day. And I'm just, I'm very excited. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, yeah, you in the next one. Bye, guys.